Hi everyone, today I have a makeup look that I'd like to share with you all. This video isn't exactly a makeup tutorial or a get ready with me, I kind of was just chatting as I was filming. My first attempt at this holiday festive look was actually as I was filming it, so it's kind of a fail. It was a struggle to get this look for a variety of reasons. So if you'd like to see that, then continue watching. It definitely made for some funny moments. And there is definitely a reason I do not film makeup tutorials. I'm actually really excited to do a chatty makeup tutorial today. I mean, I'm excited to do a makeup tutorial anyway. I haven't done one in nearly a year. Oops. I've already done my face and my brows because nobody wants to see those things without makeup. Before I get into the tutorial, I'll just go over what's on my face right now. So I have MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW10. MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. To set those two products, I have this Tarte Translucent Powder on, and this is the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I love this stuff. And then for a bit of sculpting, I use the contouring shade from the Kate Sculpting Kit. And this one is in Golden Sands, which is just the palest trio available. And then for blush, I just go in with NARS Unlawful. I've used this quite a bit, as you can see. Fit pan pretty bad. And then for highlight, I use Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop. This is in my October favorites and I'm still absolutely loving it. And lastly, for the makeup that I've already done, on my brows, I use the Sonia Kajuk Tinted Brow Gel and then Anastasia's Brow Wiz in Taupe. I keep looking at my viewfinder, I do apologize. <laughs> the main focus of this makeup look is definitely the glittery eyeshadow, I'd have to say. I've been loving glitter and sparkles lately, so when I was at Target the other day and saw these three eyeshadows from Wet n Wild, I just had to pick them up. They're so gorgeous and shiny. I love it. But yeah, of course I need to incorporate this into a look ASAP. In today's look, I'm going to use these two. This one is bleached and then this one is spiked. And so this one is like a white snowy color and this one is just silver. So yeah, well, let's actually get into the makeup look now. To start off, I'm just going to cover my eyelids with Venus from the Naked Basics palette. This white eyeshadow I think will just be a nice base for the silver sparkle. I'm going for a very snowy looking eye, I think. So winter. But yeah, just doing that, a nice base. Get that in the corner. I'm just going to put that on my brow bone as well. And then from the Sephora Pantone watercolor palette, I'm just going to use this silver and kind of do like an ombre, I guess, to my lids. I don't really know. I'm making this up as I go along, so my bad. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice mirror. I'm gonna use this. Good. One thing that I do like about these eyeshadows is that they aren't too pigmented right away, which everybody loves the pigmentation, so oh boy, sorry for saying it, but since these are very vibrant colors, I do like that I have to build them up in order to get the color that I want. So if I make a mistake or I'm looking for a more subtle look, I can achieve that easily with this palette, which is awesome. Ooh, I like that. I'm just using the white eyeshadow now. Huh. Okay, that's nice. Really, I should be using makeup brushes. I do apologize. <laughs> what a crappy makeup tutorial. Does anyone else find it way easier to just use your fingers to put on? eyeshadow. Well, mainly for the lid, not really for the crease or like the outer corner, but I don't know. I prefer it. Let me know if you do too, or if I'm just a weirdo. And then for the fun part, I'm going to use the glitter eyeshadow in bleach and just cover my eyelids as best as I can. These eyeshadows were 94 cents, so I wasn't really expecting too, too much with the quality. They're definitely not the best. They're quite sticky on and the glitter isn't as compact as I would like, but you know, it's fine for 94 cents. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that on my eyelids. This eyeshadow definitely works a lot better when you pat it on your eyelid with your finger, just if you wanna get that super glittery look. If I had glitter, I'd actually add more to it, but I don't, so. It's so funny, I used to hate glitter as a kid, but as I've gotten older, I just, I love it. I love this stuff, it's so pretty. For the next step, I'm just gonna go in with this silvery eyeshadow again and just do that on the outer edge and outer corner of my eye and really just like pack that in. Look, I'm using a brush. <laughs> oh, this eyeshadow is so sticky. That's gross. I'm just gonna go back in with the white and just put that on top of my lid again. My memory card's gonna run out. <laughs> 
My memory card just ran out of space, so I'm running on limited time because I could only take off one file from my camera because my hard drive is full. So I need to move things over to my external hard drive and I don't have time, I have limited light left. So yeah, you could say this makeup tutorial is going really, really well. In that span of about four minutes of freaking out, I ended up finding extra fine glitter that I'm going to shove on my eyelids. This eyeshadow is extremely gluey and sticky, so hopefully it'll stay and not go in my eyes. Let's see how this works. <laughs> oh. Well, sh Okay, there is fallout, as I expected. I hope this is safe to put on eyes because I don't have a lot of space left on my memory card I'm just gonna do a few steps behind the scenes so I'm just gonna take Crave from the Naked Basics palette which is a black eyeshadow and kind of work that into the outer corner and then crease and then I'm just gonna put on some eyeliner and wing that out and then put on false lashes and then I'll see you shortly break ta-da The eyeliner that I used is L'Oreal's Linear Intense. On my eyelashes, I used Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara. For false lashes, I used Eyler's Lashes in number 80. Lastly, on my lips, I used Max Rebel. That is it for this video. If you made it this far, then you might as well give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.